The 20th of November marks a special 20th birthday. For the International Space Station, it's been floating about 400 kilometers above the Earth's surface for the past two decades. Pieced together like Lego with contributions from different countries. Well, joining me now to talk about the impact the ISS has had is our space and, sci and science and technology reporter, Jeremy Wilkes. Uh, Jeremy, 20 years. I want, you know, talk to me more about the impact that ISSS has had on the well, of course, it's, it, understanding. It, it's a science research lab. That's the point of the International Space Station. And we'll get on to some of the other things about it, but that's the point of it. That's why it was built there, to have a permanent orbiting laboratory flying above our heads. And it has done extraordinary things in science, particularly learning about human physiology, learning really about how badly humans cope with living in uh, weightlessness. We've learned an awful lot about muscles, about bones, about how to try and recover. And that's really helpful, of course, for medicine on the ground for helping people recover after operations and things like that. So as a science lab, it has been really a wonderful, wonderful tool for the past um, 20 years. OK, and what about as an example of international cooperation? I mean, it's one of the few places where, let's say, the Russians and the Americans actually you know, work hand in hand together. It is, it is. And isn't it wonderful? I mean, when you think about it, what do they actually do all day? Um, you have at the moment a German, you have an American and a Russian up there, only three astronauts at the moment, all working together eating together, sharing their experiments together, helping each other in their work, doing maintenance, cleaning the International Space Station on a Saturday morning as they all have to do. It really is a brilliant concrete example of proper cooperation. Government, governments might have changed and politics might change on the ground, but these people, for example, the, the Americans, the, the Europeans, they all learn Russian, they all learn how to speak in Russian, do really critical jobs in Russian, same thing for the Russians learning in English. They communicate, they live together in this, in this orbitary, orbitary a space station uh, and it's a fantastic symbol of cooperation I think. Indeed and looking forward over the next 10, 20 years you know so much is made of uh, missions to Mars but you know what role what, what can we expect the ISS? To well be doing? for the ISS itself I was actually talking to some space entrepreneurs about this uh, just a couple of weeks ago and I said what would you do with the ISS looking forward one of them said turn it into a more commercial research lab and have people going there also for short holidays maybe weekends in space and the other one said no it's, it's, it's run its course let's ditch it down into the Pacific and that's the end of it. The future really uh, for a lot of the um, space station, space uh, people in the US and also in Russia is to build what they call an orbiting gateway around the, the, the moon. So the idea is it's, it's to have this um, space station that floats around the moon. It's quite a different kind of environment actually, quite different to the ISS and that that will be the future for this kind of cooperation. Okay.